Hey everybody, this is Jill Sabella with Sabella Styles. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I'm going to show you how to make this fun gift card holder using our Picture Perfect birthday set and our Picture Perfect party 6x6 paper pack. Um, let me show you the gift card holder first. Slide off the belly band. And there's your gift card. I used some scraps to make a little present in the back, but the possibilities are endless. I mean, they're all, all of these things are different. The cute papers, kind of like the photorealistic. And um, this one says, treat yourself. And it's got the fun um, noisemaker on it. Um, and this adorable bow. Oh my gosh, I love those bows. They're so fun. This one with the cookies. Cue the confetti. So there's tons, tons and tons of options with this stamp set. Um, and let me just show you some samples I've made too. Oh, let me show you the paper because it is really cool. So the paper, one side of the paper is our photos. Um, can you see those as I'm moving them? There's some candles and donuts, some confetti. And then the other side are more of the geometric prints that coordinate with it. So super, super cute paper. And it is in our occasions catalog right now. Here's the stamp set. Um, it's got all kinds of fun things. I'll show you some samples with it so you can see um, these particular things you can use as the candles or like in the one I had done, used it as a, um, to make a noise maker. So all those parts are there. The one I had made with the uh, present, I did use this little two-step stampin' bow. So it kind of matches the cute little bow on the belly band. Oh my gosh, those are adorable, by the way. There they are. Gold, silver, and berry burst. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And there are a ton in there. I think, what is it, 45. Oh my gosh, they're fun. So so there's um, the stamp set. Here are some samples I've made using some of the other some other items we have. This is a stamp set I got from my, or a card I got from my friend Candy, and it was perfect to show off with this set. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started to show you the parts you need for the card gift card holder that we are making today. Um, the well, also I was going to show you the colors that are, that coordinate in that paper. Of course, basic black, but the colors I'm going to be using today are the Bermuda Bay, Peekaboo Peach, and the Lemon Lime Twist. Um, not using Berry Burst just because I'm making my card maybe a little more masculine, I guess. But that is one of the colors that coordinates with it, so we won't need it today. But uh, let me show you all the pieces you need. So the first thing you need is a piece of cardstock of bas black, ugh, excuse me, basic black, and it measures at four inches by 11 inches. And I have scored it at four and a half inches, five and a half inches, and six and a half inches. So it's there, you can kind of see that there, but I've already scored it. So there's our black. And then you're gonna need a piece for your lid that measures uh, three inches by four and a quarter inches. And then on this side, we're going to score at um, one and a half inches. So you can kind of see that there. Again, the measurements, as always, will be at the end of my videos. So you can refer to those if you've missed them. Then you will need a piece of the designer series paper for the front. Um, and this measures at three and three quarters by four and a quarter. And then another piece for the lid, which is really just a piece of this. And I'm just, I'm going to flip it over but it measures at um, four by one and one quarter inches. So you'll need those. Then you'll need a piece of basic black for the belly band that goes around. It measures at one inch by nine and three quarter inches. And I don't need to score it, I'll just wrap it around. Then you'll need a piece of ribbon. I am using our gold um, one eighth inch ribbon and I also used the silver. Um, I felt like it was cool to not necessarily match it, but just have fun bright colors um, to go with See, there is silver in there. So anyway, but I'm using the gold today and this is a 10 inch piece of the ribbon. So then the next piece you'll need is um, a piece of basic black for the front. It measures at one and five eighths inches by two and three eighths inches. And then a piece of whisper white um, that measures, well, oh my gosh, did I not write this one down? It fits right inside of it. Um, I'll find out what it measures and I'll write it down for the back, but um, it measures at one and a half by two and a quarter inches. So that's what you'll need for that. 
And then the piece of white that goes on the inside measures at three and three quarter inches by four and a quarter inches. I know that's a ton of measurements, but um, I will have them at the end. So let's go ahead and just stamp and get that done and out of the way. Um, I am going to use the images that say happiest of birthdays to you and um, some other ones. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. I'm using also with these photopolymers, I do like to use um, a stampin' mat to make sure that I get the image stamped on well. And I'm going to use the Bermuda Bay to stamp on this one. Okay, and then. I'm gonna use the Lemon Lime Twist and do a few little cute kind of confetti pieces on here. Just around the edges. All right, so that is that piece. And while I've got it, I'm going to go ahead and mount it to my um, basic black piece right here just so that I don't lose those two pieces. And I just centered it. This is just a very slight border around it. I'll set that aside. And then on the inside, I'm going to do um, celebrate the good stuff. I think I'll do that with Peekaboo Peach. Why not? That's going to be on the inside of my card. And then I'll do the lime, lemon lime, and the Bermuda in the cute confettis. Okay, let me clean that off. Okay, so there's the inside of my card. I'm gonna close up my ink pads. We won't need them anymore. Like I said, you can do tons. I'm just trying to make it kind of simple and quick today, but tons and tons of cute options um, with this fun stamp set of things you can do on the inside and really jazz it up. So um, that is, we're just keeping it simple today. But you can set aside our stamp stuff and we'll go ahead and get our base done. We're gonna need the piece of uh, basic black that is four by 11. And we're gonna go ahead and just fold on the score marks. i use my bone folder here. And what I did was I just kind of made a mountain valley fold. There's your mountain and your two valleys. Um, when it's sitting upright, I guess, there you go. <laughs> or it's a valley and two mountains. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that those are scored down nice and good. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of a little bit of our tear and tape on the inside. So if this is our this is our card base, you want to put it on the inside here to to adhere these. So I'm going to lie it down here. I'm going to lay it this way. I'm going to bring it up. No, the back black is so hard to see. I'm going to put just a little bit on each edge. I don't want to put it along this side because then my card will not fit through. But I'm just gonna do that and then I need my piercing tool. Okay, here it is. To lift that off. Okay. And then you'll just go ahead and bring those two together. And press it down. So you'll see now you have just your mountain is smushed together. Okay. And then the next thing we can do um, is just go ahead and from about, leave about a quarter of an inch on the on each end, we're just going to trim literally just the tiny edge of this black off. That allows us to kind of get into that flap. Can you see where I'm cutting? Get into that flap and s slide our gift card holder in there. It kind of makes a little pocket, if you can see that. So you'll need to do that, and then go ahead and punch with the R three quarter inch circle punch, just a little um, in the center, just a little area so you can lift that gift card out of it. And I'll get a gift card so you can see how it works, what I'm talking about. So you'll just slide the gift card into that little slit that we've kind of made. So anyway, for now I'm going to take that out um, and we are going to adhere the back or excuse me, the top of our lid that makes our little present. Um, and so you'll just fold on that score line as well. Okay, and then we're gonna use some tear and tape on that as, as well, just because it's gonna be opened and closed a lot and I don't want it to fall off. Um, you put a little bit of tape on the very bottom and then just a little bit more up, not to the top because it will, um, 
we don't want it to show or it be exposed when we stick it on the top. So just kind of in the middle-ish and then towards the bottom. Okay. So we'll go ahead and just center that. You can leave, I know it is so hard to see, but I kind of leave a little bit of an edge. I don't go straight up to that score mark, just maybe an eighth of an inch all the way around and get that on there. So now you have your basic um, base. And now we're gonna add our card stock, or excuse me, our designer series paper to the front. This is my front piece for the bottom. And then the opposite side, like I showed you, this is just the other side flipped over, I'm going to use for the lid area. Okay. All right, so we've got those. Then what we're going to do um, is maybe put, I'll just go ahead and put this piece we stamped on the inside. So then we get it closed, it's all ready to go. And what you would do is you would end up putting your gift card in there now. You could put more white paper up here to continue a sentiment, but you put, go ahead and put your gift card in. That way when you get your belly band on, you don't have to remove it. So that is all ready. Um, then we wanna go ahead and wrap our belly band, band around. Now, because it's going to be covered up in the front, we can have it nice and neat in the back and just wrap it up um, from the back side. I'm going to kind of bring it down here. Don't make it too tight. I mean, you want it to be snug, but not so tight that um, the person can't slide it off. Um, and then I think, um, I think it's gonna be best as well to use a piece of tear and tape for this. Again, just so that it does not come apart. keep losing my pic piercer. Okay, here it is. All right, so get that around and then adhere that, Ooh, that piece right there. All right, and then you're going to wrap this piece of gold, just gives it a little extra pizzazz. And what I did was I just put a little of adhesive on the top, because that's gonna get covered up by your bow just to hold on, hold this um, piece of ribbon on. And maybe a little bit more to make sure it's secure. And then that bow sticks to it really well. Oh my gosh, this bow is so cute. They come, I already ripped it off, but they come with um, just like your good old fashioned Christmas bows with the already um, adhe adhesive and you just peel that off. Um, like I said, I already removed mine, so I'll just stick it on there. And you can feel free to press it down. It'll pop back up all cute and nice. And then with this uh, piece, we're gonna go ahead and pop it up with dimensionals. And I do like to put the dimensionals like a little bit on um, on the ribbon, just so that it, does, it helps adhere that ribbon and make sure it doesn't slide off. You probably don't need three. I kind of must added an extra, but. Just stick that on there and center it, and you're good to go. Easy, but super fun, and people are gonna be wowed by their cute card. So again, um, if you would like to order any of these products, just go onto my website, sabellastyles.stampinup.net, and you can click order here to get any of these cute, fun uh, papers and stamps and all kinds of things. And I hope you enjoyed today. See you later.